Ayan, isa akong uh, registered nurse na nag-work dito sa up north Quebec, sa Sisasibi. Sa northern part of Quebec. Uh, it's like 2 hours by plane from Montreal. And then by road, by land, it's like 17 hours. So, ayan, dyan ako nagtatrabaho. Malit lang siya na community. It's like 5,000 uh, people living here. Tapos, madami na din mga Filipino nurses dito na nagtatrabaho. Like, I'm a registered nurse in hemodialysis dito. Malit lang na hospital. Ito yun siya. Sisasibi Regional Hospital. It's located up north Quebec. Yan siya. 21 Maamu Road, Sisasibi, Quebec. Sisasibi Regional Hospital. And, okay, enjoy my vlog. It's only minus 6 here in Sisasibi, Quebec. Up north. And we'll go for a walk. Join me. So, it's not that cold yet, but it could go down up to maybe minus 45 or minus 60 during uh, January or February. So, yan yung hospital na pinag-work on ko. Yan. Yan yung aking transit. Lalakad lang ako papunta dito, dyan sa hospital, sa dialysis center. So, minus 6 na. Pero okay lang maglakad ngayon kasi hindi masyado malamig ko first two weeks ko, I would say, nahirapan ako kasi nasanay ako sa city life. Pero for now, two months, medyo okay na ako. Medyo, masasabi ko, okay naman na. Ginagawa namin pag nasa vacation kami, like uh, pag nasa Montreal or nasa city, pumibili na kami ng mga kailangan, like mga favorite food mo o mga necessities. Like yung mga canned goods or anything na pagtawid go tumba. <laughs> kasi mahal dito talaga. Kasi allowed ka naman magdala ng cooler eh. So, yung cooler, punuin mo na siya. Lalo pag health worker ka. Okay naman sa kanila. Ayan, dito ako nagtatrabaho. Sa Sisasibi Regional Hospital. Malit lang siya na hospital. Saka 5,000, I think. If I'm not mistaken, na tao na ninirahan dito. Pero madaming community ang tree. Uh, pero ito yung pinakamalaki. Grocery store. Few minutes lang din. Maybe 2 or 4 minutes. Nasa grocery store ka na grocery tayo kasi wala na kong stock medyo mahal nga lang pero ganun talaga ito yung commercial center ng Sisasibi grocery store, dalawa lang nga tayo nandyan yung co-op at saka is it northern star nandyan na din yung motel na yung mga ibang travel nurses na nag work as agency dyan sila tumutuloy pag wala pang transit na binibigay sa kanila uh, usually like me, nag-start din ako dyan nag-stay ako dyan sa motel for 2 weeks bago mag-transition sa transit na pag pinag i ko at the moment medyo mahirap pero laban lang yan, bili tayo ng maybe eggs and bread ano pa ba yun. so far meron pa naman ako mga toiletries so groceries lang talaga yan, pasok tayo mag grocery tayo Almost online naman lahat ng aking transaction sa banko. Ito yung isang groceries pero close sila. I don't know why they're close. Nandito yung post Canada dito. Sa Kamanigran. Yung also yung Manigran. Pero hindi ko talaga pinaproblema itong padala kasi online naman halos lahat ng transaction ko sa aking banko. Sa mga padala ko. Ayun yung post Canada, Manigran, grocery, quarters. Sa kabanko, first nations bank. Ayan. Ayan, isa lang ATM. Friday, same sila. Ito din yung isang grocery store. So, dali dalawa yung grocery store dito siya si Sasebi. Malapit sa hospital. Ayan yung youth center. Ayan sa building na yan. Pwede kang magpa-schedule ng badminton, volleyball. Para hindi ka mag-board. Medyo mahal. Kaso, kailangan talaga kailangan mo din bumili ng mga kailangan mo sa bahay. Hello again, mga backs. Welcome to my vlog. Nandito ako ngayon sa hospital na pinag-work and ko naglakad lang ako from my transit. It's like one or two minutes na walk from my transit. So, malapit lang. I don't drive. It's very convenient kasi malapit lang yung transit na pinag-stayan ko. So, ito yung hospital na pinag-work and ko. Malit lang siya. It's like a primary hospital. I'm not 
sure, maybe 25 beds lang siya. Pero meron kasi silang hemodialysis unit. So, yung hemodialysis unit, uh, we have 9 beds, 9, 9 chairs. We have 9 chairs. Pero at the moment, we cannot cater like uh, 9 patients at the same time. We only have like 6 patients at the same time. So, yun lang yung nakakater namin every session. So, it is located uh, up North Quebec. It's like 2 hours flight from Montreal and uh, 17 hours by land. Madaming ano, uh, pinipiling mag by car. Si convenient sa kanila kasi syempre nakakapagdala sila ng madami na necessities and groceries and uh, in compare sa charter syempre limited lang yung space mo ano, or yung madadala mo. Pero mas gusto ko yung mag by plane kasi 2 hours lang siya compared sa 17 hours na stay mo sa sa road and it's very dangerous kasi syempre minsan baka malustra ka especially during winter time kasi syempre yung daan you'll never know kung maligaw ka or some uh, kung maligaw ka or may mangyaring aksidente sa'yo you'll never know but ang advice nila dyan you have to be ano meron kang mga emergency ano, maybe dapat charge yung phone mo or dapat may kakilala kang may alam na nagta-travel ka at the moment para matrack nila kung nasaan ka na so far okay naman ang aking stay dito pero mag-feel mo talaga yung isolation kasi especially kung you stayed or nasanay ka sa sa city life dito talaga you're you're isolated kasi ano siya um, very isolated reserved area so medyo malayo saka good thing here we have a lot of uh, Filipino nurses LPNs and licensed practical nurses and other unit agents who's working here right now so sometimes we have some get together every weekend especially during special occasions like there's someone having their birthday or Christmas season, especially this coming Christmas and New Year, maybe we'll be having our get together before pa ako pumunta dito kung may mga napagtanungan ako kung paano yung trabaho, kung paano yung system ano, yung mga community mga tapong mga kasalam mo kami, mga pasyente so, I have a bit of idea before coming here, so, hindi masyado hindi mahirap yung adjustment ko, I would say, as compared to iba o, yan mismo yung aking transit, nag i yan ito lang yung Ito naman yung hospital. Ito yung dialysis mismo. So, malapit lang siya.